You guys ready to go outside? Alrighty. Let's do it. Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available in Amazon right now. Good morning guys, this is Ranger Rob. And welcome to Central Oregon Living. So, uh, apparently I slept in a little bit. <coughs> And uh, all I do is I hear this uh, noise of, of something in the yard. Turns out <clears throat> that uh, there's this speeding lawnmower running through the yards. And as I told you before, it takes about three three hours to uh, mow our lawns around here. And so uh, I got to do my chores. And uh, me and the puppies are out here, but uh, it's kind of dangerous because there's a speeding lawnmower thing going on here. And uh, I think I found the culprit. Let's see. Yep, right over there. Someone is mowing the lawns. Turns out Sherry got up early, decided she wanted to mow the lawns before it got uh, too hot. So, uh, here she is. I get her to hold still for a minute, see if we can catch up with her. Sheesh! So, uh, can I see your license and registration, please? Sure. Where is it? Uh, I left it in the house. Um, I was watching over here. You're driving very fast. It's really short over there. I don't have to go slow. Yeah, yeah, but we have a speed zone in here for puppies yes. and dogs. It's a 10 mile per hour speed and I, zone. And I was going 10, right on the nose. Times two. <laughs> I saw some speeding. So uh, I need to issue a warning because um, when dogs are present, you have to drive no more than 10 miles per hour. Okay. I'll remember that. And next time you can drive. <clears throat> and why the hell are you up so damn early? Because I wanted to get it done before it got too hot. Oh. Alright guys, well, you heard her. We'll give her a warning today. Yeah. yeah. I really wasn't going that fast. It just seems that... Seems <laughs> I got a feeling cops hear this a lot. It just seemed it, but no, I wasn't really going over. See, you know. when I was in the back there, I, I'm going back and forth, and I had uh, Belle. She's just running with me and running circles around me and everything. So I, I obviously I wasn't going too fast. Yeah, they came into the house with somebody. I wasn't out of bed yet. Well, I had to come bring them in because uh, they're as exhausted from chasing you because you're going so fast. Yeah, I wasn't going so. fast. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go take you to out to the chicken pen because it's done. Well, it's not completely done. Yeah. So, anyways, we got all the walls. We got all the walls. It's pretty awesome. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys. It's time to go water the chickens. Got my got my crew and uh, Sherry tells me that I gotta fix the uh, air compressor hose or something funky. So, Welcome to another morning of trying to figure this place out. Well, anyway, let's go check the chickens. You guys want to check the babies? Let's go check the babies. There they are. And they need water. And they need food. And they're not far away from going into their new house, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Guys, we got the chickens all wa watered up. Also give them some more feed. And now, it's time to reveal the finished almost chicken pen so uh took us a few more days to get it done 
I don't know how many times I have to keep going to Home Depot, but it's done. So uh, what we got left is just some latches. We're gonna paint it, trim it, uh, but here it is. So, uh, oh, and the ladder for the inside. Uh, we've got the um, a 12, two by 12, that we're making a little ladder that'll go in there. We just used that two by four to kind of get the angle that we want. Uh, all sealed up. But as you can see, we put a roof on it. And that was the first roof we ever built. Not perfect, but it sure looks good. So the boxes are deep um, as recommended to try to keep our eggs clean. Um, a lift off the top and a fold down bottom for easy cleaning. Uh, we will close, uh, close these off to the new babies until they're ready to start laying eggs. This is the back. Pretty bl It looks really plain. So we decided we got to trim it out. We vented the top and the sides. And uh, we made a lift up back into this. To the inside. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in here. We will seal off those uh, nesting boxes. This will be really easy to clean out. We also bought a 4x4 shower liner. Um, it's a rubber that we'll be putting on the floor uh, for easy cleanup. Uh, this is solid venting on the side here. Once again, the same kind of boxes. Uh, the bottom folds out too, easy to clean. And uh, all we have left now is a few latches, automatic water feeder. I don't know how many. I like to do more than a five gallon um, water feeder here, but we'll see. Uh, and I got to get some PVC pipe to make automatic food. But until we get those in, I'll just use the regular, the regular feeders we have now. So anyway, she's done. Uh, we still got roof. We're putting. Um, uh, still roofing on the top. We got all the materials for that. So just little things, but pretty much this is the finished deal. The reason we left this open is I think we'll put our bale of hay under there to keep it dry. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so there it is, guys. The finished chicken coop and house. All in one. Pretty happy with that. So guys, got to get going. Got lots of work to do today. I've got to put a bunch of latches on today. And probably tonight, maybe we'll put the roof on this thing. We'll see. So I hope you are all having a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Say hello below in the comments. And uh, tell us what you think of the chicken coop. Is it is it awful? <laughs> Let's put it this way. It's going to work good. It may not be as the prettiest but it's not bad for a bunch of city slickers that are out here now. So anyway guys, have a wonderful day and uh, talk to you later. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.